Welcome back to the kitchen. Today is January 1st, 2020, and Eric and I are doing a really fun food challenge for this month that we wanted to bring you guys along with. Let's go ahead and talk about what this challenge is and why we are doing it. What we're doing is over the next month, we are going to be eating and drinking nothing but our own food. And what that means is it has to have come from our garden or we had to have harvested it out in the wild. One of the main reasons that we wanted to do this was because we canned quite a bit of food last year and we have lots of it left. So we both were down in our root cellar and we looked at our cans and we said, hey, we need to really start eating through these. And it makes more sense to eat all the food that we grew, preserved, and are harvesting rather than things that we bought from the store. Yeah, we actually even talked about this idea a few months ago and thought it would be something to just cool to do and see if we could actually do it. So today is the start. We're going to give it a try. For the specifics of the challenge, we're going to talk about foods we can't eat and foods that we can eat. There's some exceptions to that. So for what we can't eat, it's going to be pretty much anything store-bought. So that includes for us, a big one is coffee because we usually do have coffee daily, um, at least one to two cups. Other things that we can't have are beans, rice, oats, and flour, so bread, bread products. We do eat quite a bit of bread with the sourdough starter. We also can't have pepper or salt. We're going pretty hardcore on that one, but we're not going to be using those. And we aren't going to have vinegars or anything like that. And of course, cooking oils. We're not going to be eating coconut oil or olive oil, which are typical oils for us. Let's talk about some of the stuff that we can eat. If you've seen our root cellar tour, you know that we have a bunch of different veggies that are canned, and we also have a lot of veggies that are still fresh down there. So we have everything in our root cellar um, we're able to eat. Anything from our potatoes. We have lots of carrots, leeks. We have beets. And then going into our canned food, I believe the only meat we have down there that we're going to be eating during the challenge is our canned salmon. And we probably have about 90 cans of this, so we got plenty of canned salmon to eat. When we canned our canned food, we did add a little bit of salt. Some of the recipes did have sugar, vinegar, I can't think if there's a, a few more. We didn't add garlic really to any because we didn't grow any garlic. So that's why we're saying that canned food's fair for us because it has extremely limited amounts of outside ingredients. All the vegetables and like Eric said, the meat is our own. So when we canned our food, we basically, if we didn't have an ingredient that needed to go in the recipe, we didn't put that ingredient in there. So our canned food is almost 100% all our food. We do have some frozen food that we're going to be able to eat. We have some pesto that we made and some frozen bell peppers. But if you follow our channel, you'll know that we bought a pig not too long ago. So that pig is going to be sitting in that freezer for a month without being eaten. So we're pretty bummed that we're not going to be able to touch the pork. But that being said, we are going to use lard. This lard came from the pig that we had butchered last month and we rendered it down and we're going to kind of allow us to use this to cook food. We did need something to cook with, so we agreed that lard was going to be okay in our book. Even though we didn't raise the pig, we did render it and we need something to cook with. So I feel like that's fair to have just one oil that we use. As far as spices go, since we're not going to be using any spices, we don't use that many to begin with. We're going to be relying on our herbs. We have lots of herbs and this is going to be like our sole flavoring of food. And like Ariel mentioned earlier, we're not having coffee. And I feel like that's going to hit me the hardest because I really, really like waking up in the morning having a cup of coffee. But uh, like today, we have just some chaga that we've cooked on the wood stove. So this is one of the alternatives. And the other is our teas. We have tons of teas and these were all either grown in the garden or we harvested them out in the wild. So all of our teas we're going to be able to drink. Other things that we are allowed to eat is some of these squashes that we grew and onions, which I don't have in this area and of course chicken eggs. Our chickens started laying eggs so thankfully we have something extra to go off of for this month. But they're really not laying very well so we're not really counting on getting a lot of eggs. So, But when we do have eggs like we have two right now we're going to eat them for sure. This is going to be a really cool challenge because we're going to try to cook these foods in lots of different ways so we don't get bored over this month long challenge. And we haven't eaten breakfast so we are going to get started with that meal now. So for our first meal, we're going to make sure it's a really good one. We're doing the salmon hash, and it's going to have potatoes, onion. We're going to do some carrot. And we're going to have salmon, obviously. And then we're going to cook a couple eggs in there. We'll probably just top it with a little bit of parsley. Day one breakfast. We got salmon hash with eggs, and it's going to be topped with some sauerkraut and some salsa. For lunch, we're having canned salmon, carrots, sauerkraut, 
pickled green beans, and some spicy jalapeno cranberry mustard. For dinner, we have a really good soup with all kinds of good stuff in here. We started with our chicken broth and we put some pasta sauce in there. We've got some onions and some leeks. We've got greens, carrots, potatoes, and for spices, we put some sage, tarragon, and a little bit of oregano. So we got hungry for dessert and we decided to fry up some of our zucchini bread that we made a while back and we're going to be adding some apple jelly on it. Alright guys, it's day two. It is breakfast time and we are having leftover soup from last night and we also have some tea that we brewed up and that's just a mixture of the few of the teas we have up on the shelf. For lunch, we're having sockeye salmon and honey pickled. We've got kohlrabi, radishes, and some onions in here. Pickled carrots and jalapenos. And carrot sticks. Tonight, we're going to be having spaghetti squash with a baked potato on the side. And we're going to be adding some pasta sauce and a fried egg on top of this. To finish this meal off, we topped it off with some green salsa, cowboy candy, and sauerkraut. Alright, it is day three of our eating challenge. And we're starting off with some lard in the pan, and we're going to have some of that salmon hash again. So I'm going to throw the potatoes in first. So we don't have any eggs this morning, but we are going to be throwing in some of our frozen bell pepper, red onion, and some salmon. Okay, so the hash is done, and we also added some eggs in there, and we got some fireweed tea to go with breakfast. Today for lunch we're going to be using the leftover spaghetti squash from last night and we're going to try to make some fritters. We're going to put an egg in there, we've got some onion, some sage, some parsley, and we're going to put a little bit of our pasta sauce in there to get it some moisture. So lunch looks pretty good. We got our fritters, we topped them with some of our pasta sauce. And we have some pickled veggies here, and then we got some tea to go with it, and it's lemon balm, lemongrass, mint, and yarrow. Tonight we're going to be having soup with leeks, onion, potatoes, carrots, celery stock, chicken stock, some pink salmon, and then thyme, parsley, and sage. We're topping the soup with sauerkraut, some cowboy candy, and green salsa. Okay, it's day four, and for breakfast we are having the leftover soup from last night. Today we are running errands, so we brought lunch to go. We have some red smoked salmon, and then we have our coleslaw. These two are awesome things to bring when you're on the road. They're really easy to pop open and eat. Okay, we just got back, and I'm going to put some lard in this Dutch oven to get ready for our dinner. So for dinner, we are gonna have roasted carrots, potatoes, delicata squash, onions, and some parsnips. And this is a really purple carrot. It's called Black Nebula, and that's why it looks more like a beet. A 
Okay, so we were just going to have some roasted vegetables tonight, but we got super lucky and snared a snowshoe rabbit earlier that we decided to add to our stew and we added some broth as well. I believe we added celery stock and chicken broth. And so it turned purple because we have those purple carrots in there. And the rabbit meat just came right off. Looking forward to this tonight. So all we've been eating is fish. <laughs> We're gonna be topping the soup with sauerkraut, some salsa, and cowboy candy again. Of course we wanted to have dessert, so we cooked up some more zucchini bread, and this is our blueberry crowberry jam. Okay, it's day five, breakfast time, and we are having some tea to start it off. This is fireweed, lemongrass, and some mint. And then we are eating the leftover soup from last night, which was the rabbit stew. All right guys, we got hungry for lunch. This is what we got. We have some potatoes, we have leeks, onions, carrot, and bell pepper, and we had three eggs that we went and put in there. And I'm gonna get this off the stove because we like our yolks runny. And for an afternoon snack, we've got a can of applesauce. We're getting our mashed potatoes ready for dinner. And in here, all I got is some steamed potatoes with a little bit of onion. And to that, we are gonna add a little bit of chicken broth, parsley, and we're gonna crack one egg in there. We've got our carrots and some green beans and some onions steaming in some chicken broth. And we're gonna add some sage and some rosemary. And those are canned green beans. So this is dinner. We've got our steamed veggies with some salsa on there. We've got our mashed potatoes with some sauerkraut. We've got some canned smoked salmon with some of our high bush cranberry and jalapeno mustard and some pepperoncinis. Day six for breakfast, we are having potatoes, carrots, leeks, onion, and salmon. And we are gonna to be topping it with sauerkraut, salsa, and pepperoncinis. And we've also got some tea to go with it, and that is borage and catnip and bee balm. Okay guys, day six, we're eating lunch. We are out ice fishing today, so we brought lunch with us. We have some of our coleslaw again. We've got some smoked sockeye salmon. And we got two hard boiled eggs. For dinner, we're gonna start with sauteing some leeks. I'm just putting some lard down. We're gonna be making potato leek soup and I'm gonna add some carrots and the potatoes now. Along with some chicken broth. And we're gonna be using rosemary, sage, coriander, thyme, and some celery leaves. And our soup's done, so we are going to eat dinner now. Okay, start of day seven, we're having breakfast and we have our leftover potato leek soup from last night. And those are some pickled carrots and jalapenos and a little bit of our green salsa. Okay, it's lunchtime. We're starting things off with some 
birch chaga tea. And then we've got some fries that we baked in the oven, and I put some parsley on those. It's gonna go with some of our mustard, we've got carrot sticks, smoked salmon with some of our sweet relish. Day seven dinner, we got a good one for tonight. We've got some salmon patties, and in there we have some parsley, egg, we have some of our canned greens, and some leeks, and we got some of our pesto on top of there, a little bit of our pepperoncinis on the side. We've got our steamed veggies, which are carrots, we've got a couple different beets, and some potatoes, we've got some sauerkraut and our green salsa on top. So this has been our first week of this challenge that we're doing, and we were just gonna go over how we think it went. First off, I'll say that the meals have been really awesome. We've been excited about every meal we've eaten, and Eric's been, done a great job at being creative for some of the meals that we're eating, a lot of the same foods. Um, it was and is a little more difficult than I anticipated, not complaining about our food selection, but it's pretty easy to just, you know, make some bread or grab something else and we've been really restricted. Um, as far as the coffee goes, that was only bad for like the first two days for me. I had two headaches and then we pretty much got over it. And as far as flavorings, everything's been pretty good with all the toppings we have. So I've been okay on that end. We never really have used a lot of condiments and additives in general. Yeah, and for me, I think one thing or a few things that I'm really missing is I like a little bit of salt on my food. I know some of our, our soups are a little a little bit bland. I would have added a little salt, so that was kind of hard to get used to. Coffee, it's been a week. I'm still missing my coffee. I can't wait until this month's over so I can have a nice cup of coffee. And another thing is I'm missing Ariel sourdough bread. I love to have a nice piece of sourdough with this meal right now. Definitely the lack of bread it has been you know a bummer because we would eat it you know, sometimes three times a day. So not bread, but like a bread product or something with flour. So that's been a little bit hard to adjust to. And the one thing we have noticed with this food, even though it's super nutritious and we're happy with it, sometimes we're still hungry. And I think that's probably because we've limited certain foods that would help make us feel fuller. Yeah, I mean, we're eating pretty big meals. Some of them are a little smaller, but like you can see this one's a pretty big meal. And I'm finding that we're hungry like an hour later, so. We were anticipating we'd do this if we had a moose and had honey from our bees, but we don't have any of that. So we figured we'd just chip away at it anyways. Another thing we struggled with was not having something sweet at the end of the day. Even though we don't always eat dessert, we like something sweet. So that's why we were eating those zucchini breads and jams. And that's kind of like the only sweet thing we have. Yeah. We don't have like any other food that's sweet. So we'll just be in here snacking on applesauce and pickled foods and things like that. This is a month-long challenge, so obviously we're not going to put this all into one episode, so we're going to do this, I guess, like about a week at a time. The last week's going to be a little longer, so this is going to be our first week, so this will be part one of our challenge. One thing I wanted to point out before we close out is how many cans we went through this week. We have 44 sitting in front of me, half pints, pints, and quarts, which we're pretty excited that we're going through them that quickly since we have so many down there. We're going to go ahead and eat our meal, and then we are going to be bringing the jars down to the root cellar tomorrow morning. We'll see you guys on the next episode. And as always, thank you guys for watching.